campers, this is Dawn, and today we're going to make this really cute little bird house. It's made out of designer paper, this one is, and this one is from Sharon, who gave us the idea. So adorable. And look, it opens up over here. So cute. Has all that candy in it. Well, it could probably even hold even more candy, but oh my gosh. How cute. So I made one out of cardstock, and I got to thank my husband. He was the one that figured this pattern out for us to make this today. So I'm going to show you how to make this cute little birdhouse. I went ahead and already did the embellishment, which is the little owl and the greeting. So, so let me show you that stamp set and that die first. Okay, so this is the peek hoot dies, which I used to cut out the owl and then have a hoot stamp set. And you, okay, so you can get this in a bundle and save 10% right now. Okay, and then I also used for the greeting... I use the rectangle dies, the stitch rectangle dies, and I use this one right here. So it was actually the smallest one in the cluster right here. And then for the circles, I used the layering circle dies, and these are the two sizes that I used for the early espresso, which is, uh, let's see, about two, two and five eighths maybe. And then this one is hmm, about two and three eighths. Okay, so I went ahead and did all that ahead of time. So let's grab our designer paper. Okay, so I'm using the In Good Taste designer paper, and this is double-sided. I thought this would be a cute side for my birdhouse. So you're going to cut your designer paper to 8.5 by 9, and then you're going to score on the 8.5 inch side across the top. So I'm just going to double-check that this measurement is right. 8.5 by 9. Yep. All right, so eight and a half across the top. We're gonna score this at one inch. Down to four. Five. And eight. Okay, so now with this half inch side over here, I'm just gonna fold that so you can see that. You're gonna put this up at the top. So this is the nine inch, but we're gonna put the half inch side up at the top, all right? Then we're gonna score this at one inch. And then slide it down to four, but we're not gonna score the whole thing at four. We're only gonna score up to that first score line at the very bottom here. Hopefully you can see this. So we're just gonna score right here, right up to that first score line, which would, I think it's the one inch right there. Okay, so just score right there. And that's it for the scoring. Okay, so we're gonna take that four inch score line. I'm gonna make a pencil line. So I'm just gonna lay this right on the center of my grid paper at that four inch. I'm gonna take my ruler. And you're just gonna make a light pencil line. Cause we gotta make the roof of our birdhouse, okay? And I'm going to cut at the bottom. We're going to remove this little rectangle piece down here at the bottom. Then we're going to cut on the score lines. Okay, and now we're going to cut over here. We're going to remove this half inch score line down to that pencil line. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and fold our other score lines here so I can see exactly right where I'm cutting. Okay, so on this one inch score line, we're going to cut down to that four inch score line. And you're not gonna remove this piece because this is gonna be the fold over that's gonna hold your closure shut. And then this center piece where the one inch, well, it's the four and the five inch, we're gonna remove that section. Okay, so now your piece should look like this with this flap over here, okay? So now this time we're going to make our pitch of our roof. So we're gonna use one and a half, which is half of three, which is this panel right here, this measures three inches right here to right to here to this side, okay? And then this one also measures three inches. So we're gonna go halfway. So we're gonna go up about an inch and a half 
and I know that my ruler is exactly an inch and a half so you're going to go up an inch and a half make a little pencil mark at one and a half then you're going to draw your roof down from that one and a half inch pencil line down to that score line right here and do the other side just like that so you can see your little roof pitch for your birdhouse now we're going to do the other side the exact same way so you're going to go up an inch and a half and like i said this ruler is an inch and a half so i'm going to go up an inch and a half from that pencil line i'm going to make my little dot at one and a half and then i'm going to draw my line to that outside of the birdhouse edge now we're going to cut on those pencil lines so we're going to remove these two sides right here okay so there's our birdhouse and fold all these score lines first all right oh before we put our adhesive on, we're going to have to erase our pencil line. So let me go ahead and do this. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and put our adhesive on this half inch strip and this flap right here. We're going to bring in our side right here. Gonna line that up just like that. Okay, now this is where we're gonna add our magnet to this end right here. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to kind of do a mock closure of this roof. I'm just gonna pinch it where the peak of the roof is at. So, I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of pinch that right about there. I think that's where it's gonna be. And then close that over to the side, right? And that's going to be about right there. So I'm just going to pinch that. This part is not measured. It's just eyeballing it. <laughs> so I'm going to take two magnets. And I'm going to use two glue dots on each of the magnets. So I got two glue dots on the magnet and I'm going to put it on this flap right here okay pinch that really good and then I'm going to take two more glue dots I'm going to put it on the other side of the second magnet that's going to go on the inside right there and right there okay so now we're going to go ahead and close this over. We're going to tuck this inside. You might have to do a little mitering on this little flap here. Pinch that right on the inside so that sticks down with the glue dot on the inside of my flap here. So then this is magnetized now. Okay. Then you can go back and you can adjust your pitch of your roof so that measures up just like that. Then you can go ahead and close up the bottom of your birdhouse. My adhesive is on this side, just like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. Then you just take your magnet right there and it's there. That's the closure. I love it. All right, then we're going to put our little owl and our greeting on there. Okay, so I'm going to put my owl on with some dimensionals. I'm going to put this on first. I'm going to find the front of my box, which is right here. Just put that right at the bottom. And then we're going to put our little owl on here, right on the front. Isn't that cute? Then to add a little extra decoration, I'm going to do what Sharon did. I'm going to add some rhinestones just randomly around the front of the birdhouse. So isn't that cute? So I don't have the candy to go on mine, but I'll show you Sharon's again. So there's that one. 
Then here's Sharon's. So you can put a lot of candy in there. Look, isn't that cute? And then the magnet just closes it. So adorable. Thank you so much, Sharon. I love it. And then here's the one that I made with the crumb cake cardstock. So cute. Okay, so if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll have all the items listed down below. And then don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by, and we'll see you later. Bye.